I'm Alicia. I'm Shad. I'm Jared. I'm Paris, and we're making a movie in Australia for legendary producer Joel Silver. Joel's the boss. He's the man. He's hot. And he invited some cameras along to capture the madness. The thrill. The insanity. The chaos of making a movie. You know, it's not always about what happens between action and cut. This is movie life. House of Wax. for House of Wax, I felt that there was something incredibly interesting about it. The um, original and surprise was really creepy. It was an eerie thing about wax, you know. It just makes your spine tingle. And so, you know, I hopped on board, and when I found out, all of a sudden, you know, I'm going to Australia for three months. What up? I didn't realize, I guess, when I got the script and accepted the role, what a big project this was. We have like four or five huge stages full of our sets. It's just a huge production, and it's on a huge scale. It's fun to be a part of something so massive, and I didn't realize at first how big it was, and I probably should have known it being Joel Silver and whatnot. Mr. Joel Silver, the myth, the legend, the man, is producing House of Wax. Anything he's been involved with, the diehards, the predators, the matrixes, anything that he's put his name on has been pretty insane. I got Joel Silver of House of Wax. He emits such a confidence and a intelligence when he's around and you want him to be happy and, and you want to make sure that you please him in the right way. I, I had a thought about that too, you know. Should we have people like moving in here when they come in? We showed him the sets, we showed him what we had built and had Joel come here and, oh, I hate everything, we would have been in trouble. We're going to see all the actors who are going to show us their first, their first, uh, Draft of the wardrobe. <laughs> it's, it's really incredible how important wardrobe is in, in, in a movie. It really helps the actor get, like, into the roles. These aren't the jeans we grew This is an extra large. Is this the one I'm supposed to wear, the extra large? Is this the one I'm supposed to wear? Like, they couldn't get it together to dye them in any way, shape, or form. Like well, I understand that. I just wish I would have had other options. That's all. Could you? The day that Joel came... It was like the most stressful day of my life. Here you go. I hate the jacket. I don't really dress like my character in real life, but the character I play, I dress kind of like hip hop, but I don't dress like that in real life, so it was annoying. <laughs> this ugly jacket on, you hit. But I'll pretend I like it. I felt like it was Judgment Day. I had no idea how he was going to feel about any of this stuff because he was like, I don't want to make any decisions until that day, which is like only just made it more and more and more and more stressful. How we doing, guys? You guys mind that we just can kind of analyze this one at a time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's discuss it. What about cool retro t-shirt? You know, like Al's Body Shop or something, you know? Um, I genuinely, genuinely like the ensemble. I think it, it brings a darker edge to a, a good character. I still intend to put on another 10 pounds in the gym before we start. I'm, I'm concerned. Studio will hate it. They'll hate it. I think when Joel came here, to be honest, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's a nerve-wracking experience, you know? I mean, Joel is such a successful man, and he's made some of the greatest films. Die Hard, Lethal Weapon, The Matrix. So for you to walk into a room up against something like that, it, it, it is a little bit intimidating. I mean, they shouldn't be intimidated by me, but, you know, sometimes I, sometimes I, I mean, they, they see my movies, and I guess they read the paper but you know i i'm, I'm just a, just trying to make a living you know? let's go next thank you I'm so nervous I'm freaking out I'm freaking out what's up guys more than like hey joel do you like my wardrobe i was like hey joel you know you still want me in your movie right like you didn't come here to tell me who who just got cast in my part and send me home and say you know clothes are good but let's find somebody else to wear them hair Happy with the hair? Just got cut and dyed darker. It's not good. good I have to be a little shorter, yeah, I think. All right, yeah, yeah. I'd okay. go shorter. Yeah. Let's go with me. Yeah. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. We're going to go, I think, in there and they just see all looks on camera. I didn't do it yet. All right. Bye. 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 
Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton is a, what can I say, a force of nature. She's one of those one-name people, you know, Paris. Well, I never usually dress like this. I usually like to wear skirts and dresses and heels. But, um, I don't know, I think it's kind of cool, like, people will get to see me in a different kind of style. It's really good. It's really good. It feels like Paige. It feels like Paige. Uh, but that's good. I th yeah. Her first thought, she said, this is cute, I like this. And I said, look, this character you're playing is Paige. It's not Paris, you know. Paris may look one way, but Paige looks another way. And we had to find what was best for Paige. It'd be funnier if my heel breaks and I keep on running with the heel. I wanted to wear heels, but they said no. And Paris wanted to wear high heels and go running through the woods, which would kind of be a little silly, wearing high heels in the woods. You would never see you in the heels anyway. I mean, the running is stupid in the heels. When they said I couldn't wear heels, I was kind of upset. <laughs> but I understood. Look, you look great. What can I say? You're finished. Is that all she, that's it, right? You're finished. You're done. Coming up. The doctor's checking him out. He goes, uh-oh. No, don't say uh-oh. You said the most important thing. Don't say uh-oh. I actually got an invitation for this girl, Remy's 13th birthday. The theme of the party was to dress like Paris Hilton. I've had a dog my whole life. And when I got to Australia, I, I have to admit it, you know, I was lonely. I, I wasn't with my dog in the States. I didn't get to bring him with me. So I chose to go out to the pet store and find a companion so I can make it through my day to day. Come on, come on, come on. Look at your eyes. You have gorgeous eyes, buddy. It's a dog to Bordeaux. It's like a French Mastiff. Seems to be pretty intelligent already. I got him yesterday. He get to about 160 pounds. Big boy, but God, he's totally the alpha male. It's awesome. He's the alpha male. When Chad got Ozzy, it was funny because he kept on saying alpha male, alpha male. Alpha male is a very important phrase to me. All right, alpha male. It's a guy's guy. The dog's gonna kick everybody's ass. The dog's like a man's man. It's a guy's guy. Being an alpha male, the way Chad is, he has to really feel that he has that alpha male thing going. What do you think, dude? Name him Chili. My name's Jason. I'm down here. I'm Chad's personal assistant on House of Wax. Well, hold the door for me, dude. Unbeat my car. Which one is it? The green one? The, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lock it. What locks it? The red one? Yeah. No, the green one locks it. it yeah. I've known Chad for a long time, probably 13 years. We met um, in school. You know, we started to do, I guess, the things that boys do. Stay right there. <laughs> and he asked me if I wanted to come down to Australia and be his personal assistant. And I said yes. Okay, if you ask me. He does weird stuff, but who doesn't, I guess, you know, he's very interesting. Where's Ozzy? I'm going to make this thing hunt my dog. You don't want to be humped, do you? Yeah, you teach him a lesson. So I take Ozzy to the vet. Oh, you brave. And Ozzy was a champ. He took the needles. No whining, no crying. That's my boy. Nodular umbilical hernias, which is good. And most importantly... The doctor's checking him out. He goes, uh-oh. like, what's uh-oh? What? No, don't say uh-oh. You said the most important thing. Don't say uh-oh. I can only feel one testicle. I only feel one testicle. Uh... What's supposed to go through your mind when you hear your dog has one nut? This is a first. Uh... Sucks to be him. <laughs> Chad was truly upset when he found out Ozzy had only one. Yeah, he, he does walk a little funny. <laughs> like, what? like, it's kind of perfect that it happened to Chad, of all people. And so I had, a, I had a field day with it. I just, for days and days, was calling him nut clops and uh, uninut. It turns out my dog's only got one testicle. He's not even a real man, then. No, dude, he doesn't need he's a real man. He's got one nut, dude. That's all he needs. Watch, dude, he be your girlfriend he'll be like dude see i only got one nut but it's still cool look at ozzy he's having a ball ozzy come on come on Oz. ozzy ozzy hey i love balls <laughs> hi maris have a good day have a good weekend this is like the jamba juice of, of australia so good 
I actually got an invitation in the mail for this girl Remy's birthday, and it was her 13th birthday. And the theme of the party was to dress like Paris Hilton. I went to Swarovski and got her like this really cute necklace with like a princess tiara because I think every girl should always have a tiara. I would wear it. I'll get matching ones. I'll get one too. I haven't started shooting yet, so I have some spare time. I don't know. I'm not busy today. It's my day off and I'm bored. And I don't know. Cute to like maybe yeah. something. Fantastic. Oh, Good you ask you how you're the I love it here. It's beautiful. Yeah, and how's your first week been um, Right now, we're just doing, you know, testing with the cameras and testing out wardrobe and hair and makeup and all that. When do you think you'll start actually doing the acting side of it? We start shooting on the third. Okay. And you know Remy from? I don't know her. She just sent me an invitation, and I'm surprising her. like a Louis Vuitton purse, like the multicolored one. It was really cool. Oh, that's the coolest cake I've ever seen in my life. So the fact that she went, is it tribute to her? You know, she gets off on that stuff. You know, she went to this party and she hung out with these kids for a while. And uh, I think that that's, that's cool. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> it was really funny because a lot of them had made these outfits themselves. Some of them had Von Dutch hats on, which I don't even wear anymore, but I just thought that was really funny and, and sweet. Have you tried Vegemite? <laughs> it's so gross. Demi, don't you like it? No. Are you dead? Oh. I hate Vegemite. I've never tasted it, but I'm just, like, <laughs> guessing what it would taste like. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my Mini Parises. They're hot. My cheesy apartment building. Reminds me of a motel. Hmm, Shay, look. This is in my apartment. Through the window, it's me getting in the refrigerator. It's pretty ridiculous out here, even more so uh, than in the States with Paris, because Paris is huge out here, and um, I think it was like the first Friday we got here, there were actually paparazzi waiting outside of our building and trying to shoot 18 floors up, like on the balcony. You out there? Yep, sitting up there in the white t-shirt. Well, was it a white t-shirt, or...? It was really annoying in Australia with the press and the paparazzi. Is he out there? I was staying on the roof, and they had rented, like, the other floors and other buildings, like, across from me, so... Every time I'd be in, like, the hot tub or whatever, like, the next day I'd be, like, on every cover magazine. You know, she loves the attention, and she loves everybody wanting to kind of get close to her and be with her. It can be difficult sometimes because you, you just can't kind of live your normal life. Sneaky little bastard. So we're here on Sunday. We're shooting tomorrow, first day. And Alicia got here two hours ago. Bye. Bye. Got off the airplane. Alicia was doing her TV series, 24, and she was uh, went over a little more than we had attended. So I got into Australia. I missed you. And had to jump into all kinds of things right off the bat. She had to quickly get, you know, get wardrobe, get set her look, and get working the next day. It was like, hello, you're here, start shooting. Now climb on up. Okay. Yep. 
And then we did actually a body mold for my back where I laid down on this table and it was like freezing cold. This is colder, colder than, than a witch's you know what. Yeah, that was comical, the fact that, you know, you're laying there and you haven't met anyone and you're about to work with these people for the next two and a half months. Yeah, sorry to interrupt. No, I just no, wanted no, to no, totally yeah. I'll leave you this and just shampoo it tonight or wherever. Oh, perfect. What kind of hair products do you like? What am I doing? One, two, three. Oh! <laughs> what what costume are we shooting tomorrow? You've been in the roadkill pit, you've taken off your own shirt, and Nick's given you his tank top. Okay, so that's so what I'm in tomorrow? Yeah. yeah. Something like this tomorrow? Okay, and what are we doing underneath this bra? We have, did we try that? I get very aggressive when it comes to wardrobe. I like this pinstripe deal, too. That's really cute. That's I still have a feeling this is going to be cool. This is going to be cool, but we'll try it on. I think with the wardrobe people, I've had more sort of making sure that I put my foot down and really explain to them that this is what I want because they have an idea in their head. But at the end of the day, you're the character. You're wearing the clothes. Super cute. It's definitely a lot more flattering than I assume that's going to be. Yeah, I just... Mm. You just let them do what they want. It'll look good, but at the same time, you may not be comfortable with it. There's that scene where you're just, like, pulling your pants up. When we're going in the bathroom? Yeah. Okay. So, no thongs. No thongs, no. You know what I'm saying? No. Does anyone want to try them on? Mm-mm. And she wanted me in these leggings, and I was like, oh, the leggings are ugly, and I want something a little more flattering, obviously. I know how they fit, you know what I mean? Australian long johns? <laughs> Paris gets this cute lingerie, I get stuck with long johns, so I thought, no, this isn't fair. So, <laughs> I wanted something cuter. This is Carly. Hi, Carly. So at the end of the day, I was thrilled with all of the stuff and, and all the clothing, and I thought the boots were kick-ass. Hey, hi. Hi, how's it going? Good, it was so good. Pre-production and the time before you start shooting is also about the cast getting to know each other and getting to start relationships, but Alicia wasn't here for that. That was kind of a bummer because we're supposed to be uh, boyfriend and girlfriend, so you also want to kind of establish a rapport with other people. <laughs> you know, we're supposed to be in love for the last two years, so I'm Jared. Chad's funny. He's like, I want an alpha male dog. Big dog, big strong, like, you know, man's man dog. And the vet sticks his thumb up in butt or whatever. He's like, okay, now for the important... Wait a second. Your dog has one testicle. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I was like, dude, call it nut clops. It's the first day of shooting, so chomping at the bits to get out there. This is what we're here for, you know, so it's time to get the ball rolling. What about the hair on my forehead? Hopefully we can get it quick, easy, with no, no hitches. Um, don't film me getting makeup done. Get this movie started off right. I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> ah! oh, weird green bug. This is the first shot I'm doing in the movie, and it's gonna be cute. <laughs> Where do I say I hate you? What is that? How do you want this to be worn? Are you ready? Yeah. I was gonna like sticks in my feet and everything, so I was so cold and like miserable. So I think it helped me do the scene. And then I come up. You turn the camera and then, right. boom. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Is that okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that as far as it's going to go, mister? By the time you've come down from this high yeah. down to there, you're nearly at the bottom already. Yeah. It'll be an easy ride for you. My first shot is, is cool because it's also going to be my last shot. Because in this shot, um, not in the movie, but in real life, I break my leg while trying to do a stunt. Yeah, do, do, no, I know. Too high. Yeah. yeah. Get your bum yeah. on the deck you first, the and then just take that slide yeah, down on that bent foot. Yeah. For sure. Take foot up like that. You'll be sweet. Sure. Good yeah. Thank you. I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. That looked very good. Oh, okay. Very manly. <laughs> I'm excited now. I know. I do what I do, dude. I was raised by a pack of wolves. I look more like I was raised by the back of walls. Well, you got made me get rid of my mohawk. Still got the mohawk down there, though. That's all for you, Jean. -Marie. I'm excited to do sliding down the mountain. Ah, sure. Oh. Guys, help me! I need oh, oh, man. Here. Got me, baby. Come on. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much for today. That will be a wrap.
Thank you very much for day one. It went really good for the first day. Smooth. Oh, I like it. Oh, God. It's exciting. Okay, day one down, 59 to go. Yeah. <laughs> Action. This season on Movie Life, House of Wax. Heat up the wax time. Um, come again? I am thinking about popping the question to Sophia. Ew, look at its balls. Paris, she had an anxiety attack. <sighs> we never want to put anybody in danger. I mean, things always go wrong. Fire ripped through a Warner Roadshow studio on the Gold Coast last night. Get that camera out of here. Thanks, bitch. 